It's 2023 and it's a new year of opportunities in terms of starting a new business. What can we do? What is that? Got an Oculus Quest. I got a HP ZBook G9 with an A5500 graphics card in it, which was provided to me by HP and Nvidia, so. And that's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's got a bit of power. So I'm thinking, what's the next biggest thing? There's lots of talks of digital twins. But that's more of getting real life data, putting it into a virtual environment. I ain't doing that. So the next best thing might be to create a digital replica of a space. The first question is, is can I do it? Yeah. So I spoke to a good friend of mine, Anthony, who owns a takeaway shop, Little Theo's here in Canberra and said, hey, can I make a digital replica of your shop? Yeah, sick. So I went over to his shop and used Polycam and did a 3D scan of his entire shop, you know, the front area, the back area, the cooking area. Then I jumped onto a YouTube live stream and I showed the process of creating the 3D model from that 3D scan. Now, if you missed it, it probably means you're not subscribed and you don't have the bell button, so press it, please. So with that 3D model, I exported from Blender into Omniverse XR using the Omniverse connector. And the reason why I'm using Omniverse XR is I had a plan where he could actually pick up items and reshuffle his store around. I thought that might have been a really good feature and that's something that Blender can't do and that's why I was like, hey Omniverse, maybe you can help buddy. Now I told him what I had created and what my idea was and then he came back to me with a suggestion. I want to renovate the shop. Have you got a drawing? Yeah. Can I have it? Yeah. Sick. So I took his drawing and then created a secondary shop based off that drawing. And things got interesting. Hey. G'day everyone. My name's Anthony Ferraro. I'm from Little Theo's in Canberra. Uh, one of the best takeaways in Canberra. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Also got a YouTube channel, My Big Fat Mess. And I'm here with Marco. Yeah, you ready to go into VR? I'm ready to go into VR. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never done it before. Please don't let me jump into anything. <laughs> So firstly, what I did is I put him into VR in his current setup to kind of just get used to the controls of him moving around the current space. Um, and I think he was a bit surprised, like, hey, hey, look, there's my boxes. He was blown away by the fact that I was able to do such good recreation of his shop. And so I decided to put him into the next uh, version two of the drawings he gave me. And you can see, he was, he was pretty chuffed. From here, I showed him on the laptop what Omniverse looks like and how the shop looks like based on the plans he gave me. Then I threw him into VR, showed him what he designed, how everything looks, where everything goes. He really took his time looking around and really taking in on his layout. As he was moving around the space, he we were talking about the fridges. He had a plan to move him you know, just behind him in the physical space. However, he's realized that that is actually a pretty bad decision. So from here, he got out of the space and was actually walking around his physical space to actually really hone in on these details. So he's gonna send me a revised plan and then we're gonna do this again. So make sure you subscribe to see what happens. So one of the outcomes of this was Anthony was able to find a major flaw with his design plan. So using technologies like the Oculus Quest and the HP ZBook G9, I was able to put him in that virtual environment and almost save him probably a couple of thousand dollars in mistakes. So uh, digital replicas might be the go this year.